In this video, we are going to talk about continuity at a point. So what is continuity at a point? What does that mean? Continuity at a point is a notion that the function is not broken at that point. Like if you look at the graph and look at the part of the graph at a certain point, then you should not be able to see any break in there, any hole. There's no hole, there's no jump, there's no... It's just continuous, okay? Let me show you what that means. Let's say we have uh, a function whose graph looks like this. Okay, so this is 1 here, this is 2. Okay, and you kind of ask, okay, is this function continuous at x equals 1? Okay, so now you look at x equals 1, where is it? It's here, right? Okay, so you kind of try to look at the point where x equals 1 and see if the function broke. See if there's any hole in there or any jumps in there, okay? If there's none, then the function is continuous. But if there are holes or some jumps in there, some weird stuff going on, then the function is not continuous, okay? In this case, this is continuous right here, okay? So this is continuous. Uh, if you look at that x equals 2, then you can just see that point right there. And, okay, well, there's nothing wrong, nothing weird going on. So, yeah, this is continuous also. So the graph, this graph, uh, or this function defined by this graph is continuous at x equals 1 and x equals 2. And you can test at any point that you want okay now let me give you an example of a function that is not continuous at a certain point okay now let's say this is one right here and then this is two this is three okay question is is this function continuous at x equals one okay so what you're gonna do you are going to look at x equals one and examine the, the function at that point okay oh there's something wrong here something weird going on there is a jump okay the function jump so therefore this function right here is not continuous at x equals one okay there there was a jump okay the function jumped um, how about x equals two well, if you trace and look at x equals 2, there's nothing wrong there. So the function is continuous at x equals 2. Also, at x equals 3, you kind of look at the part of the, of, of the graph at x equals 3. Well, uh, nothing's wrong there. So again, the function is continuous. Okay, so it's only discontinuous and not continuous at x equals 1 because the function literally broke was broken at that point uh let's say so instead of this let's say that here there's a hole okay let's say that there's a hole in there okay at x equals three there's a hole meaning there's nothing there okay so if you ask okay is the function continuous at x equals three then the answer for that will be no okay no because there was a hole okay the function broke was broken at that point so that's not continuous okay so again it is only continuous a function is only continuous at a point if the function didn't break at that point there's no hole there's no jump nothing weird happening okay, okay so that's what continuity at the point is all about now, let me show you uh, some examples of actual graphs. Okay, for this example, is the function continuous at x equals 1? Okay, let's look at the function. Let's look at the graph and examine at x equals 1. Okay. 
there's a hole there right there's a hole right here this is not continuous okay so not continuous at x equals 1 okay how about at x equals 2 well we can examine move over to x equals 2 and see that there's nothing wrong there okay no weird stuff going on so yeah we can say that this is continuous okay continuous at x equals 2 okay and you can try and test for the other points and it's kind of obvious that the function is continuous at all other points except at x equals 1 let's look at another graph so this is a function this is the graph of the function h of x and now let's try to ask okay is the function continuous at x equals 2 x equals 2 okay so where's x equals 2 it's here right so you try to look at the point at x equals 2 and nothing wrong there right so therefore this is continuous okay continuous at x equals 2 how about at x equals negative 2 okay so you try to sort of look at the graph and examine okay oh there's a hole there okay there's a hole and not just a hole but this actually is the asymptote of this graph right here okay so not only that we have a hole we have an actual jumping like this one goes to infinity so clearly this is not continuous not continuous at x equals negative 2 okay so that's how you just try to figure it out let's have another example uh, let's look at um, x equals 0 is the function continuous at x equals 0 okay so let's see let's, uh, let's uh, look at the graph so at x equals 0 here this is where x equals 0 is and uh, we have a hole there not just a hole the function literally jumped over here okay so from here the function jumped over there that's not continuous right okay the function is broken at x equals 0 so not uh, not continuous at x equals 0 and you know by just examining looking at the graph you kind of see that for any other point the function is continuous like if you look at, at x equals 5 that's continuous x equals 7 that's continuous that's all continuous except at x equals 0 where the break or where the jumping happened because this one's a piecewise function so the function kind of uh, split into two uh, split into two at x equals zero so at x equals zero again the function is not continuous